Hey man! What's up? Not much. I'm thinking watch this Cartoon Network show called Steven Universe. Have you ever heard about it? Oh yeah, it's a great show. I love it. I'm sure you will enjoy it too. Really? Why don't you quickly resume it for me then? If I like what I hear, I'll give it a try. I heard it's a girly show made for kids. Oh boy. Shut up and pay attention. I will tell you what the show is about. Steven is a regular kid. Well, no, he's a rock. Wait, Steven is actually a half-human, half-alien kid, raised by three space rocks who are in charge of defending Earth against their own kind. The rock kind. Rose Quartz was the leader of this group, called the Crystal Germs. Gems. Greg is an old rock star. No, he's not a rock. He's just a normal, bald, long-haired human who used to be a famous musician back in the day, and managed to drive his van into Rose Quartz's heart. Somehow, the alien rock Rose and the human Greg reproduced giving birth to Steven. But for that to happen, Rose Quartz had to give up her physical form, leaving everyone behind. A clear knowledge of that. Moving on, the three crystal gems seem to suspiciously love Rose Quartz. Amethyst shared the same love that Steven does, a maternal kind of love. So she looked like Steven's big sister most of the time. Pearl otherwise is romantically in love with Rose. It's a platonic love which was never corresponded and ended up in deadly absence and whining songs. She cries a lot. Talking about love, Garnet, their new leader, is in a canon lesbian relationship and apparently they really enjoy playing baseball. Gems can fuse and become something entirely new. Garnet is in a permanent fusion, which I think it means marriage. Not sure. Sometimes I get very confused with the show. I feel I'm obligated to talk about the non-official main characters. Parada is a space alien Dorito, angry little slice of pop. And what does that mean, right? It means her head looks like a triangle. She is, for some, in a romantic relationship with Lapis, a character hard to define. She looks like a very bored and always mad grandpa, who actually loves her grandson, Steven, and have poor baseball skills, and it's very creative with names. Peridot and Lapis make art together in their free time. I have no idea what kind of knowledge is that. Neither of what their arts are supposed to mean. Oh, and the space Dorito kind of has an ex-girlfriend, Amethyst. And this fact makes the Fena go crazy. They fight each other over who Peridot should be with, Amethyst or Lapis. It's all incredibly boring and they do that even though they know that their opinion means very little to each other's life. Speaking of that, the fandom. Oh boy, I think we're gonna need a little more time to talk about this. I don't even know how to start. Do you wanna hear about the non-binary social justice fandom? Nah, man, thanks. I think I'll pass. I'll maybe watch this Uncle Grandpa stuff. It seems to be funny. Oh, screw you.